Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Welcome back. And I've got a really juicy one for you today. Um, I was looking through my um, most unpopular video. So I thought, oh, I'll look through what my most unpopular video. And there's a bit of a running theme between a lot of dislikes on my videos and uh, discussing brands that are um, highly regarded as benchmarks in the industry and um, clearly um, it ruffles feathers when you talk about uh, I, I can I totally understand it I totally get it and I it must be a very I think when I see a, an unpopular video I have to sit back and think well hang on if I had just bought that guitar and I am now talking about it not in a disparaging way, but in a kind of, hmm, maybe it would have been good if you had something else to benchmark it against before you bought it. And giving you a bit of a sense of uh, maybe there were other things out there that you could have chosen. You know, it's much easier just to dislike the video and say what an idiot I am. And, um, and, and one particular one that springs to mind is the video I did on Taylor Guitars uh, with the, the V bracing. Uh, v class, Taylor V class. Uh, and obviously there's this all this hoo-ha about the Taylor, um, the Taylor V bracing system, and um, and believe me, I've I've investigated it to death, and I've, I've, I take on board all the comments, and I've I put a video out, and a heartfelt video, uh, and I said in the video that I hadn't played one, um, but I gave references to people who were promoting the videos, and I said, look, watch the promotional videos yourself, and listen to the comments they're making, and and really take on board the point that. You know, you watch the other video and you can see what I was talking about with that video. And um, I even had a guy literally write, he, he created a video on YouTube all about me and what an idiot I am and how I can't play the guitar, which is fine because I, I don't play very well. Um, and, um, but I mean, this guy was all out like, you know, I was the devil reincarnated. Why? Because he owns a Taylor guitar and he's American and proud and proud of his American. And quite rightly, why not? Why not be proud of your home, you know, your brand from your country? I get it. But it doesn't stop reality kicking in. And my point being is that Taylor guitars are made to a very specific agenda, if you like. They are high quality, I've never said they're not, mass produced guitars made in you know, the hundreds of thousands and God knows what the volume is, but it's enormous. And you only have to look at their own marketing material to see how their guitars are made. Um, with all the pre-cut bits and bobs and laser guided this and computer this. And, 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 and you can be guaranteed that if they could have removed the individuals that you see on the video, they would have been removed a long time ago. So the people that are left behind are people sticking bits on and of course there's hand, hand crafting going on, but you'll be guaranteed that if it could have been done by a computer, it would have been done a long time ago. Eastman Guitars, the brand that I promote, <laughs> they've just been headhunted, if you like, by, is it Bourgeois? I think they're called Bourgeois. Uh, um, a, a, absolute top end, top end, you, you know, you're talking about a guy who's, is, who is revered as being like the mecca of, of guitar building world, has gone to Eastman to have their guitars made for, you know, we're talking about six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand pound guitars, coming to Eastman and saying, look guys, we respect the way you build your guitars, the way you hand craft them, like we do, but you can build them at a price that we can't possibly do. So we want to create um, bourgeois guitars but made and crafted by Eastman you don't get a more you don't get higher praise than that these aren't people that are going to destroy their brand dealing with a some tin pot organization they didn't go to Taylor and say right guys could you knock us up some uh, mass-produced guitars they're, they're not interested in that they're not interested in, in in that kind of high volume production world so why am I rambling on about this I got me a Taylor. <laughs> I got me a Taylor, a Taylor B class, a B class. I got one in my hands. Um, this might become this might become my kind of like um, 
this might become my shop guitar, I don't know. I am more than happy to sell this guitar. It's in perfect condition. It's uh, an unwanted uh, guitar uh, from a customer who's part exchanged it for a guitar that I sell. Actually, he part exchanged it for an Auden, uh, which is obviously, people out there might go, wow, that's mad. And yeah, it's great that, you know, do I look at that as a kind of recommendation? Well, I mean, you know, I, I can sit here and say, yeah, well, I, I knew that that's, that's what happens. That's what people do. They, they compare guitars I sell here and they go, wow, how come I didn't know that? And well, because they haven't watched the videos and they haven't been in the shop, they haven't come in, use their own ears to listen and compare to guitars that I think are better. So what have we got here? We've got, um, I know this sounds incredibly arrogant. I'm not trying to be arrogant. I'll probably get a million down likes for this video because the last video I did had a million, you know, horrendous amount of down likes. And who am I to say what, how the world is? But you must just watch your own, you know, you watch videos, watch your own, come to your own conclusions, do your own research. That's all I'm saying, do your own research. But to do your research, you've got to, you've got to be able to find the guitars to research against because you will find all the mainstream fodder in all the mainstream shops. Okay, you will find anything that is quick to make, well marketed, in all the big shops. That's it, that's what you'll find. So, it's very difficult to actually make a, a real judgment call. But what we've got here, Taylor, relax Rich. Um, so what we've got here, we've got a Taylor 314 V class. It's the latest one. Um, so what I wanna do is, um, perfectly lovely guitar, by the way, and, and first of all, uh, they didn't used to do this in my day, on the um, when I used to be a main dealer for Taylor guitars. Um, this this um, these inlays weren't part of it, so that's that's nice. Uh, I think they're really pretty inlays. Um, so um, that's nicely done. Um, and the headstock logo is nice. That's nice. But what you got to remember is. And by the way, the saddle on this, this is, this is from the, this is from, from, uh, from the shop. Uh, the saddle is very, very low. Um, and actually, I think the action's a bit, well, it's not the action's too low, but there is a little bit of a buzz, which I will show you in a minute. Um, and that's not to have a go. In fact, I wish the buzz wasn't there because I'm trying to, I want to show it, I want to show you guys and compare it to some guitars I got here. See what you think. So this is what you get for 1,899 pounds. That's mahogany back and sides. A regular some version of spruce uh, regular spruce top um, and the expression system uh, by Taylor um, I don't want to okay I've been eight minutes I, I know you guys don't want me to waffle on so much so here we go so let's just go with um so this is the first this is just let's just hear this let's hear a chord ring out One chord at the beginning. Let's just do one chord. Okay. Okay, this is mahogany back and sides. So that might be Sapili Spruce Top. Now I'm sorry, by my ears, and I kind of wasn't because I've got two other guitars to go here. This, this is this is a guitar. Obviously, looks a bit like a tailor. This one 
is kind of brighter. I think it's actually got a bit more sustained. By my ears, I hear a bit more, a bit more. But it's definitely got a little bit, it's a little bit edgier, but is it nice or not? But um, let me try to be absolutely 100% down the line of how I feel, because I don't want to say anything that I don't mean. So now I'm going to do a couple of chords. I've been playing all while, my fingers getting sore. I'm not used to playing so much. Excuse my friend, sorry. That's, that, that is just, there's a bit of a zing on that string, so I'm sorry. This might destroy the video, but that's annoying me a lot, but. I'm trying not to move. Really prepared for these things. I'll get things a bit more. But I want to just keep it real how, how everything is as I find it. To me, that sounds absolutely lovely. Really, really lovely. That's 599. That's 599. Okay, so look. So first of all, look. Let me just give you an idea. These two guitars, 1,899 pounds, 599. It's got a Fishman expression system, but I'm telling you now, that's not all that. Um, this has got a, um, a Fishman. This is a regular. I think in this one it's a Sonitone. So that's. You'd like to think it's got a better pickup in it. So let's just let's just pretend that's got a better pickup in it. We're not doing a test on the pickup. Um, that's the guitars, the finish. Headstock. So obviously it's simpler. So look, you're getting a simpler guitar. But it's 599. I could buy three of those. I could buy a spruce top model. I could buy a cedar top model. And I could buy myself something else as well. So now. That's incredible. Oh my god. I mean, the thing is, the reason why this makes me laugh and smile is because as I do it, it, it's just the most great feeling in the world to go, yes, here it is. Here's the guitar. It's in my shop. Come and play it. Come and, come and tell me that I am just, you know, you're saying that because you don't sell them. You're obviously trying to. No, I'm selling the guitars that are making bourgeois guitars. The be, you know, one of the most pre prestigious brands in the world. That most people, it's like, you know, not Rolex, but the, the ones above Rolex that no one ever knows about. They don't know about them because it's just the cream of the cream of guitar, you know, like watches. Things which are, get so specialist, so high quality that the mainstream, us lot, don't know about them. That's where bourgeois are. And they're having Eastman make their guitars for them. Um, so... Oh my God. This one is 900 pounds. 900. So you could buy just two of these against that one. And it just shines. It's beautiful. Let's go back. Let's. Now look, which, now, now, if you have these two in the same shop, £1,899, uh, £900, £1,000, this one is completely, well this one's got a Fisherman Matrix in it, now, this one's a Fisherman Matrix, that's a 200 quid pickup in that guitar, 
It's the pickup that I recommend in any guitar. If you, if you, buy, a, a, if you buy a Loudon from me, I'll still recommend a Fisherman Matrix. Um, and that's 900 quid with a case. Um, what's the next thing? Oh yeah, look. Yeah, that's a black plate on that one. Uh, but you've got a really lovely tortoise shell plate on there. Look. And you've got like the highest grade mahogany you could ever imagine. Oh, <laughs> look at that. This guitar, this guitar here, is completely handmade. Totally, 100% tooled by hand. It's cut, scraped, buffed, cleaned, polished. Every aspect of this guitar was made by a human being, by a, by a very skilled person. This guitar was predominantly made by machines. Um, and obviously, people have to do certain aspects by hand, which is the nature of, you can't really get away with building a guitar without human beings involved. If you watched my video last, uh, uh, yes, last time, I just, I just, the video before this one was about dog and guitars. And we talked about the tap tuning of the guitars, how they literally can hear the note that is generated by the natural wood when it's vibrating. This is the way builders build guitars. That does not happen, you know, in mass produced guitars. So what about 14.99? So you could only buy one of these against this one, just the one. This one has now got Engelmann spruce, okay? So this is an Engelmann spruce, very high grade of, of wood. Um, tortoise shell plate, but now you've got the most magnificent bindings and marquetry that, oh my God, look at that. Look at all the wood bindings. Come on, focus. Look at that. This is about 14.99, I think, from memory. Ooh. It's a work of art. It's an absolute, an absolute work of art. Um, so now we go into Engelmann spruce, and this is 14.99. All the wood bindings down the neck. You got the idea. <laughs> you got the idea. Uh, it's just smooth, like a fine wine. Let's have a look at that one again. There's a voice that Eastman have, very alive, and there's a dynamic to them. Real, real, real sort of like. Yeah, because to me that sounds flat. Oh, I'm, that, but that one string is going to drive me nuts, and it's actually ruining my video because I don't need that string to buzz like that to prove my point, and that's now going to make it look like, oh yeah, well you had a dead string, but that, it's actually getting, it's actually got worse, so I've got a feeling, it's just the nut, I think the nut's been cut too low. A bit better. But you can hear the voice of that guitar, that, that is, that is flatter sounding, overall. I mean, mahogany and spruce is not, you know, meant to be totally dynamic. That, that's basically, this is, but look, the bottom line is, that, that I'm going to summarise here. I've just shown you guitars which are 600, 900, 1400, I think, thereabouts. That's about the price of these guitars. You've then got a guitar made by Taylor that is 1800 £1,900. Pounds. I've got that for sale second hand. Uh, It'll be about fourteen nine nine, that fourteen fifty, that, that kind of territory, because that's a great price for a good. And actually, we're going to make that play better than when it was sold originally, because obviously we wouldn't sell it without a little bit of a buzz on that G string. Um, but that this is why I sell the guitars I sell because I just want to be enthusiastic. I want to sit down and do a video. Wow! Look! Look! Look at this! Look what look, this is all about! Look! Look! Try this. Um, I would far, far be. I mean. Hang on. Oh, 
Yeah, I'd like this one. Instead of that, £1,900, why don't you buy that? A handmade Eastman guitar with a handmade Gordon Smith guitar. Handmade Gordon Smith guitar. Why buy a tailor and a fender which was cost you 1,800, 2,000, 3,000 pounds when you could spend 1,800 quid, 1,900 quid on two handmade guitars. This one's made in England, supports some amazing people that produce incredible guitars. That's my point, that's my point, that's it. I'm gonna finish there. And you tell me, you tell me if I'm just a bitter, twisted, you know, some of the comments I see from people, I mean, it's just crazy. Um, I'm just here to inform and help people who want to chat about great guitars. Uh, I've got no agenda against Taylor guitars at all. Um, I'm just an enthusiastic person that loves to show people great guitars. And it's as simple as that. Um, and I really hope, you know, this video won't gain too much negativity because it's just me loving what I'm doing. If you want to speak to someone who loves Taylor guitars, there are millions of videos out there where you could watch people telling you why Taylor guitars are, obviously, it'll be a different opinion to me. Um, so you have to find out your own path forward and work out. But it's not about who you believe, it's about going and trying them yourself. It's as simple as that. Don't listen to me, but do try one. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. See you soon. Bye.